There's nothing like a tap on the line, a set of the hook, and the fight of reeling in a good fish. Oh yeah, baby. Oh baby, oh my gosh. But while you're pulling in your prize, oh a fish might not be the only thing you've caught. One of the most unpleasant things you can run into in the pleasant experience of fishing is wormy fish. Chances are, if you've been fishing very long in Oklahoma, you've seen uh, the most common parasite, perhaps, that people notice in our fish, and that's the yellow grub. The yellow grub is about the size and shape of a Tic Tac, and typically found in the fin, under the scales, or throughout the meat. Marley says the issue is extremely common in Oklahoma, especially in ponds. It's a parasite that has three hosts. In addition to the fish, there are aquatic snails and fish-eating birds like cormorants or kingfishers or great blue herons. So that's, and that's where we get into what to do about it, and that is try to break the life cycle of the parasite by discouraging uh, the snails, the uh, fish-eating birds, but there's really nothing directly that you can put in the water to deworm the fish. It's not legal to kill uh, the, the birds that in, in this case, or in most cases, because they're protected by federal law, but we can take some steps to discourage them. If there are roosting areas where they are nesting, then perhaps those uh, trees might be eliminated. Perhaps there's some scare techniques or, or other things that can be used to try to keep them away from the pond. Although the yellow grub can understandably disgust or discourage someone from eating fish, there isn't a cause for concern if you ingest contaminated meat. There's no known human health risk to the, the yellow grub. Uh, uh, I assume you cook your fish, and uh, most people do. Even if you didn't, uh, it, there shouldn't be a human health problem. There's one right there, there he is. 